In this video, we're going to do another example involving spot rates. So we're given a yield curve, curve table that gives us the one, two, three, four, and five year spot rates. And here are your percentages for those. And we're going to use these spot rates to price a $3,000 par value bond, which re is redeemable at par and pays 5% annual coupons. So when we price this, we're going to use our spot rates to price the bond according to the cash flows at the individual time. So at times one and two, this bond is going to give us cash flows of 150. And at time three, we'll not only get the $150 coupon, but we'll also get the $3,000 redemption value. So we need to discount each of those cash flows using the spot rates that are given to us in the yield curve table. So at time one, we get a $150 coupon, we'll use the 4% spot rate to discount. At time two, we get another $150 coupon, we'll use the 4.3% spot rate to discount. Now again, remember these are annual effective rates, which is why we have to square it, because we get 4.3% per year here. For time three, we've got not only the coupon of $150, but also the redemption value of $3,000, and we'll use the 4.7% spot rate to discount that cash flow, giving us a price of $3,026.66. Now, this problem also asks us now to find the yield to maturity of this bond. So the basically the constant annual effective rate that the bond would be, it would be yielding over the, uh, the three year term. So we do this just like what we did back and when we did yield rates for bonds. So we have the present value or the price of 30.26.66. We've got an annuity, essentially a level annuity that is the coupons. So we've got three of those at an unknown interest rate. And we have also the $3,000 redemption value that needs to be discounted back to time zero. And again, we don't know what I is. So in this case, we can use the BA2 plus to help us get what the yield to maturity is. We can set the present value equal to the negative 30.26.66, future value is 3,000, payments 150, N is 3, number of payments is 3, and we can compute our yield to maturity in this case to be 4.68%.